Uh, a guy, actually it's one of my favorite poets. This is not family reading, let me tell you right now. Uh, Charles Bukowski is not family friendly. Uh, he's very gritty. Uh, he uses language uh, that we're all familiar with, that normally isn't used in poetry. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's a man of the people. And he's quite a character in life. If you ever read about Charles Bukowski, he's a, he's a remarkable character in life. Um, and uh, poet, novelist, uh, brawler, fighter, uh, street guy, I mean, you know, he's just kind of done it all. Uh, but one thing he said one time was, love breaks my bones, and I laugh. And I, just, I like that a lot, uh, because I will tell you that there are very few people in life more broken than Charles Bukowski. He was a super broken dude. I get my phone to work. There it goes. So I want to share this, this piece of scripture from 1 Peter. Let your adornment be what's inside the real you, the lasting beauty of a gracious and quiet spirit in which God delights. I'm going to read it again. Let your adornment be what's inside the real you, the lasting beauty of a gracious and quiet spirit in which God delights. Um, so you think about, I think about this little piece of scripture, and I think about Charles Bukowski and his, uh, his funny little quote here about love breaks my bones, and I'll laugh. And it makes me think, you know, so Bukowski, he was an all-in kind of person. He never did anything halfway. Uh, he was always, and not necessarily in a good way, but he was always all-in, very passionate kind of person. And, and this, this verse makes me think about that as well, right? Because it's about what's on the inside. It's not about what you gather around you. Uh, so I ask the question, are you an all-in kind of person? And when I, when I ask that question, I mean that, you know, are you all-in emotionally with, with, in your relationships? Are you all-in physically in what you do uh, when, you, when you take on a new subject or in school? Are you all the way in all the time? Um, or again, like I said, in relationships, maybe you're all-in. But this, this verse, this passage, makes me think about how God is all-in with us. God is all in when it comes to how God loves us. And so I want us to be bold. I want us to be all in. I want us to be willing to get broken. Because when you're all in, you go ahead first. And there's a willingness to really get broken. And when we allow ourselves to be vulnerable and to get broken a little bit, then that inside part, the real you, is able to kind of spill out and really be seen. You know, another thing that Bukowski once wrote was, the less I needed, the better I felt. So he would, he lived in sort of, you know, uh, one room places all the time, and or he lived out of a car sometimes, but uh, he, it was those moments where he was at his rawest, it was those moments where he had absolutely nothing, it was in those moments that he felt the best, because he wasn't caught up in everything that was around him. Uh, and that's because what is on the inside, that is who you really are, that's the real you, right? So just remember this, God provides. God provides, maybe not always what we want, but God always provides what it is that we need. And be all in with one another. Be all in with your relationships. Be all in with God. And be the real you. Go head first in and be willing to get broken. Because when we do that, then your gracious spirit, that lasting beauty will adorn all of your relationships. Simply this, you love, you laugh, and God delights in that. Amen. Amen.